day. It's Madden NFL Football. It's week two of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle with the Arizona Cardinals. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. The Cardinals now getting set to go offensively, and it'll be the dual threat quarterback, Kyler Murray, leading the way. Coming off of a loss their last time out, I think he's just seeking to make a bigger impact on the game. Threw a touchdown pass, didn't throw an interception. I think he just wants to jump those numbers up in terms of flinging it around and letting his receivers get into the end zone. is not a sign of what's in stores. He has to fight just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. Throwing now is Murray. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Well, this defense very strong in that victory from a week ago. And what keyed their victory? The pass rush. Got to the quarterback six times for sacks. And plenty of other turbulence in the pocket for him as well. Hard to throw the ball downfield when all you're seeing is opposing jerseys come at you. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. <laughs> On first down, Hickman. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. The numbers for him from a week ago, 13 carries, 53 yards, and a touchdown. Well, watching the film, we saw that things clicked pretty well for them in the running game last week. No reason to change in my mind. Continue to try and run the football, give it to them early and often in hopes of breaking down the defense so some bigger gains result as the game goes on. Murray now on first down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's taken down inside the 30. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Now a handoff here to his running back. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they stop him short of the first, as he can only get to the 20. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. They'll try and run for it. 
And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. Well, that's what's called being aggressive right there. But I don't know that it's reckless. I think it's much more of a message, a hey, defense, I believe in you in case we don't get it. And offense, trying to let him know he believes in him as well. I like it. Your first drive of the game in plus territory. Be aggressive. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. Murray now to throw. That's going to be caught by Waddle. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. To throw is Murray. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. We're scoreless after one. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Now a give right side. Hickman. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Now a give right side. Hickman. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Now they've gotten it to the four on this opening drive, but now they face a third and goal. Out of the gun, here's Murray. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Jalen Waddle, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Cardinals take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Taking in at the three. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. They'll be led out by the seventh overall pick in 2018 from Wyoming. It's Josh Allen. And he comes off a tough opening matchup. Threw way too many interceptions in that game. Definitely not the way you want to kick off a new season. So he said to himself, I've got to throw that game out. I'm going to get a fresh start right here in week two. Here's Allen on first and ten. Escaping the pressure right. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Now Allen, flushed out right. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Allen now looks to throw. Flush to his right. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. And that is caught. It's Davis. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Oilers are an extra point away from evening this one up. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied here in the second quarter. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. 
So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Well, so much for getting separation. No chance there. Locked down tight, forcing the incompletion on that attempt. Throwing again on second and ten. Murray. It's a short one here. Complete to the tight end. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Murray. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in his second week of the regular season. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 29, and he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. Uh, certainly not his best throw that time, and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do, and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. Here's Allen to throw it. On the slant, he's got Davis. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. It's complete. He dials up Davis once more. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Allen going to throw. That's complete to Davis. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another 13 yards there twice in a row, and they're on the move. Another first down as well. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the 1. They'll try and run it in with Brown. And after the good gain last play, this time they say, uh-oh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. In the backfield by himself is Brown, second and goal. He'll get it up the middle, and he's in. Touchdown, Houston. A great play there in the final seconds of the first half, and the Oilers have taken the lead. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to seven. So this drive spans seven plays, and it ends with a three-yard scoring run. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And with only nine seconds remaining, with well, not much time, we'll see how they play this. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. With a white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. And they will take a knee here. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. Oh, 
All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening weekend. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll get started down at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. And that one is all even, 6-6 six, six in the second quarter. From there, we head over to the West Coast. Check out the Niners at home at Levi Stadium. And for the moment, they trail the visiting Saints in that one. Dak Prescott lighting it up. He's got three touchdown passes. Finally, let's get you to Baltimore. Check on the Ravens at home at M&T Bank Stadium. And they were losers in that one to the visiting Tampa Bay Bucks. The Bucks able to even their mark at one and one after falling in their opener a week ago. In the game you're watching, it was Josh Allen who was on target in that first half. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. A one-touchdown ball game, 14-7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. And the half will begin with a touchback. Offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys will lobby for them in the locker room at halftime. And that'll set him back five. Delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. And boy, again, they won't get this off in time. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track and it cost him. Successive penalties have them looking now at a first and 20. Here's Allen. They'll roll him out right. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 20. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. To the air, Allen. It's caught by Davis. 
And a heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. They run the counter. It's Brown. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. They go right back to the ground here in Brown. Brown has the first down and much more. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Houston. A big play there. His third touchdown of the season all coming in this game. And the Oilers are able to widen their advantage. Well, I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now 21-7. to just a four-play drive that time. And the finishing touch was that nice long run into the end zone. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. From the 30 on second down, Murray. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? And he'll slide to a halt here, still a little shy of the first down marker. He'll get five out of the scramble in second down. And to give this time to the tailback. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Throwing on first down is Murray. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. The last run got a couple, here's second and eight. Murray now. There goes a deep ball, end zone, and that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Jalen Waddle, his second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Cardinals draw a bit closer. Sanders now to add the extra point. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. On second down now, it's Brown. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Allen. He's got his 
his target. It's the tight end, Knox. On first down, Allen. He finds his man.